Mona Bellani is one of the few women in India who speak openly about being infected with HIV. She's lived with the virus for 20 years. Her husband and son both died from complications of AIDS. A government HIV program started just in time for her. Medical treatment and free drugs have saved her life. It is a blessing for us. People who are living with HIV, the treatment is a blessing for us because through treatment, I couldn't transmit my virus to other people. The drugs are helping Mona Bilani to live a normal life. Her oldest son, Mohit, is HIV negative, but has still suffered. Other children were not allowed to play with him. He also feared losing his mother. For Mona, the social exclusion is almost as bad as the illness itself. He saw my fight with the society. He saw my fight with myself. Because he is the witness since childhood. Like, how I am suffering with my health sometime, how I am struggling with my work and my health and my uh, routine uh, duties of, uh, towards my family. Just over two million people in India are living, like Mona, with HIV. The government is making a concerted effort to combat the epidemic, with some success. The number of people infected with HIV has halved since 2010. One reason for this is that India does not recognize the patents filed by Western drug companies. More than half of AIDS patients receive free medication produced in India. I won't call it copy. We call it reverse engineering. Um, so I think India believes in access to treatment for everybody and therefore whatever is necessary, good quality treatment is available, generic drugs are available, so cost really goes down drastically. Mona Bilani takes part in a support group in Delhi. She tells young HIV patients they need not fear for the future. With treatment, they can even have healthy children. I lost my um, younger son. Due to that, because I was not aware that I have to test him during my pregnancy or after my delivery. So it was lack of knowledge to me. The battle against the HIV virus has certainly not been won in India, but there has been significant progress, not least thanks to people like Mona Bilani.